Uh, so uh, when a friend of mine opened up his his anime shop and like he was trying to get a, a nice location downtown as well, and he's been bumping around to a couple different places and eventually settled in. But like when he was talking about how much it would cost to exist in like again the prime spots, uh, every month that you didn't turn a profit was the equivalent of a year of lost profits elsewhere. So you know when you start up a business and you go, yeah, I'm yeah. starting this up at a loss and yeah. you're going to eventually, uh, you're eventually gonna turn it around, but you're expecting that loss initially. Yeah, costs, overhead, yeah. yeah until for, until a while. Exactly, until you're, you're clear, you know? Um, that process is accelerated to the, by the month. Yeah. So if you were gonna die in three mu in three years of like not turning it around, mm. turn that into three months effectively. Like, it's that expensive. And if there's like simple rules, like if you're starting up a restaurant and you want to have people have fun, maybe you have like two little tables outside on the sidewalk. Don't start. Don't start. Don't like time it so you start your your restaurant up in December. Yeah. Because then that's at least four months of no profits because no one's coming to your restaurant because it's fucking cold. Who the fuck is going and there's outside? Snow everywhere. Yeah. So Hope you're on. Hope you're on fucking Uber Eats. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to start up in May or something, you know? I remember reading an article way back, I think it was last year, where uh, of Canadian cities, Montreal was listed as dead last of every major Canadian city in the country in terms of starting a business. Wow. Really? Because, and this doesn't apply to all businesses, so obviously does not apply to our business, for example. But if you open up a restaurant, if you open up a toy store, if you open up anything that requires a person to physically walk in the fucking door to buy a product, the city can just kill your business randomly by parking construction outside of it for six yes. months. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. that's true. We have that little mart that's up the way. There's, there's lots of that. We have that little mart that's on like yeah. on a street nearby. And like when they started up, I was like, oh, fantastic. A little mart that has a bit more types of food that we can just like, you know, if we ever need something before we go into a podcast or recording. And they started constructing on the apartments right in front of it and they had to close down their main door and it says, please use side door. Mm -hmm. Might as well just quit now. And they, well, and somehow they stuck it out and then the construction was finished. Yay! A week later, they can start constructing on the other side. Do not use this side yeah, door. Yeah, 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 Go yeah, back yeah, to yeah, main yeah. Door. And they're still there. So big ups to them. And like, they don't even have the decency to the have decency. to. They don't have the decency to have the little sign with the bowing guy, the bowing construction man. Uh. That's like, you know, the one where he's like, "Oh, we're so sorry. We're sorry that this place is not available." I oh, I remember going down. Uh, to the west end of NDG near the university. No damn good. Yeah, I mean, that's not like that neighborhood. Notre but, Dame de Grasse. Uh, I was seeing a friend there, and like they had a fucking sign next to. Oh god, what was it? They had a sign next to that overpass. You know the one that used to feed onto the highway. Sure do. This was back in 2015. And the sign said construction until 2019. <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's the, because they're rebuilding yeah. that fucking overpass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so here's the thing though, tinfoil hat time, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Because for sure. because you're saying that, right? And and here I've thought about this before. And what my conclusion with like the way it's like your business gets shut the fuck down. All right, think about the fuck the the what what would the think about the Falcone crime family. Yeah. Right. You're setting your business up. Someone walks in. Montreal at 300% corruption means it takes about an hour after you put that first day, first sign, we're open for business yeah. for someone to walk in and be like, hey, hey, man. oh, you guys look like you need some protection around here, huh? <laughs> right? No, no, we're good. Nah, I think you need some protection. Do you I? Know? That's a, you joke with an Italian accent, but it'd be a, a, a very thick French accent. It would be. And the guy would have a biker jacket he on. He would have a fucking biker jacket on. He sure would. And he'd be revving his, his, his motorcycle. Exactly. Don't you want to help mom out? So they'd come on over, and then someone would have a conversation. And let's say that the biker leaves unpleased with the way things were to go <laughs> for some reason yeah all I right don't know why, but. he would let someone know someone else would say something to someone and who knows hey look there's a construction job that happens to be necessary right in front of this business in a, front of my only parking spot a construction job that i have literally never seen anyone work ever in my whole life a statistic just came out in our city that stated that 
over 80% of construction jobs, I think, that were ha our contracts that were do dealt out this year were like competed by two companies or sometimes one. Yes, I yeah, am a yeah, competitive, so, competitive so company. It's I will... pretty clear, cut and dry, why the construction workers also show up to the construction site on their motorcycles. Yes. And perhaps that decision the construction cycles to keep that construction site listen, in its place listen, dude. and shut that business you down you need eight guys to watch that one guy work that backhoe yeah. and that and that happens to be right in front of the business that didn't feel like it needed protection tinfoil hat time i don't know that's I, I, that's a crazy story i don't know i'm going to say that not less but a slightly more than 50% of all businesses have that problem. It's that one that you're describing. I remember I did you uh, It's bad. We used to know a guy. I don't know if you either of you guys would remember him because I don't know if you guys were in any of his classes. But he was um his brother ran one of the clubs downtown back when in Sejep. And his brother was like, "Hey man, you can uh, you can fucking you can fucking run the club tonight. I gotta go. I gotta go. Gotta go. But that also happened to be the night that uh, uh, Maurice came in. Maurice. For his envelope. Ah. <laughs> and he described it as like, oh, everyone's like, oh, hey, Maurice. I'm making up a figure. I don't know. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Maurice, how you doing? And then Maurice said, hey, give me that fucking JF. envelope. Yeah. And then, okay, bye. Yeah. Bye. I, <laughs> I'm on, on my way to uh, the Versus Center, the new, like, um, fighting game hangout spot uh like i it, it's it's you know off sale and raw so like or uh, it's on sale excuse me um so like going up to it sometimes oh you mean the esports place it's so montreal esports opened up yeah. and right next door uh they have some extra like rooms that they own oh, okay and one of them is being rented out by the uh versus center where montreal, okay. uh, montreal street fighter and the smash players and the anime air dashers and, and stuff. the blade strangers all of the all of them yeah mm -hmm. all the communities come together for fighting games and uh, hang out uh, up PSNK there. heroin. Exactly. Um, at, but so I, I was going up there sometimes. Obviously, it's like a busy spot. And you see some shit. And I remember specifically, yeah, uh, I want to say it was maybe like two and a half to three weeks ago, going up there and seeing like at least two like the areas were like, okay, the one there was a car and it was it was a car parked and like three police cars surrounding it, right? Like serious type there looking needs situation. To be three of them. But like everyone's just kind of standing around, not really. Doesn't look like a serious situation in terms of how people's Looks demeanor. Casual. But there's a lot of cop cars just parked around this one car, not Concerning moving. Concerning amount. And then further up, another motorcycle with a cop next to it, and this kind of whatever's going on up there. And I remember like on the way up, just kind of going to the turn into my friend that runs the place and just being like, "Yeah, a lot of a lot of something going on. Mm -hmm. Like, what's up?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, so." The the rally, the bike rally is in mm -hmm. is in town. That's right. And you know, the angels are having their out of town specials mm -hmm. coming in to visit, the VIPs. And so I don't know who wasn't given what, but seems that down at the precinct the order was given to just Give him a hard time. Rattle some yeah. cages. Just, just shake, you know, like like shake drag your, uh, your drag your, the baton across the bar. across the bars yeah. a little bit, and like that that not nothing's going on, you know, but just uh, just ride up. Yeah. And like, hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Hey. And it, and and like, and that was the vibe coming off of that because like you know when you see like a car that's like like um someone's trying to like, run away or escape and you like you in surround them you're like you're locked in you're not going yeah. anywhere it looked like one of those. But just a bunch of cops going like, yeah, anyway, so, ba da 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 And it's just like, oh, Wanna move man. your car? No, I'm good. Uh, you know? So, uh, like, yeah, that, shit, that shit's weird here, man. Montreal's bad with it. And I think the only way we can solve our problem is with battle construction vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was just thinking about this. I'm thinking about, like, the differences between, like, What's say, up, let's take New York or Chicago. Areas which I'm sure have many organized crimes occurring. Mm. There's a system. Why would you break a person's legs when you could just instead politely put a construction? Right. Yeah. Why would you? Right, right. Why would you threaten somebody instead of just buy their building? Do and, you see the difference? And then that business goes away, and then perhaps a business that allows a friendly me business to wet my beak. <laughs> You know, with so many nickels and dimes, and might open can, up. Like when there's in this when there's, favorable when location, construction hole 
where three guys are staring into the hole for weeks on end. There's nothing, it, and the poor like guy that's trying to sell like you know uh, artisanal latte donuts is staring outside <laughs> his window, seeing the guys look at the hole and seeing his empty restaurant. What is he? What is his actual course of action there? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. I mean, you could put up signs on the fences and lead people with an arrow and say, "We're still here if you want your donut," if, but. It doesn't fucking work. If there's work. a regular haunt that anyone in any major metropolitan city knows very well, like I know exactly where it is, and you ever wonder why do they, if there is some construction near or around it, if you ever wonder, I know where it is, why do they have this giant sign saying, we are open? It's because they are so scared of people that are new, not knowing where the fuck you are and if you are open, because the entire sidewalk is cordoned off, and there's like a little wooden ramp over a moat to try to get to it. Okay. I fucking hate those little wooden ramps. They're terrifying. There's a really good wooden ramp that's very solid and doesn't like bend and bounce, but you see it very rarely. They use always the plywood most plywood, of the time. Plywood, yeah, most of the time. Okay, now take all of this that we're saying and apply the modifier that is your business only gets foot traffic when it's not taking damage cold outside. Yeah, so that's, so foot that's, traffic, that's two debuffs. You get a huge status ailment. Just being here. There are four and a half because, business at risk. Because there are just a quarter of the year. Four and a half to five months in some cases. Five let's and a half let's months. honestly let's call it six most of the time. Maybe there, eight. There are six months. Okay, there are four months That's in which your foot tra traffic is going to kick down to like ten percent of Who normal. Who are we kidding? There are about there's two eight. Eight months total. There are two bonus months, I would yeah. add, on either end, in which foot traffic will be about 50%. You really only have six good months of foot traffic in this city a year. <laughs> and if Sometimes if, three. And if someone decides to put a couple pylons and a fence up in that's front of that takes. door. Oh, you that's know. all it takes. And then, of course, you got the whole digger watchers. And then the whole diggers standing in front of your business like bouncers. Yes. And if someone were to be like... Perhaps I feel like an artisanal donut today. No, no, je pense <laughs> pas, monsieur. You know what my favorite is? You know what my favorite is? Spicy. Is when you can have, the, spicy. Spicy. You can have the suspicion no, no. That, uh, that, our, that our police friends and our biker pals have made some sort, and our construction bros have made some form of informal arrangement. The construction in which cons. You have the construction site that is never worked on ever, but shuts down multiple lanes. With the hidden cop car to cut the people cutting through the restaurant parking lot, which is the same as running a stop sign for tickets. And sure enough, when people get fed up with the construction, go, ah, oh, fuck it! And just drive through the fucking parking lot of a Burger King or something. Yep, 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 yep. It's all a rich tapestry. Yeah. What did, what did you do, Woolen? It's a, it's a fun city.